Trinomials are some of the most important non-linear equations that you'll see on the test. They take the form of ax squared plus bx plus c equals zero. Now this is very important to remember so that when you see something that takes this form, you can recognize it as a trinomial. For the most part, when we see trinomials, we're trying to factor to find our solutions. So if we had a trinomial like this, x squared plus seven x, plus 12 equals zero. To factor this, we are looking for two numbers that multiply to give us 12 and that add up to give us seven here. Okay, so what are those numbers? Well, they're four and three because four times three equals 12 and four plus three equals seven. So we can factor this by doing x plus four times x plus three. And that equals zero here. We sometimes forget about that zero, but really when we're factoring, we're still setting it equal to zero. So when we find our solutions, what we can say is x plus four equals zero and x plus three equals zero. So we solve for x here and we get x equals negative four and x equals negative three. So those are our two solutions. We can also see solutions referred to as x's or zeros. And it can be helpful to remember what this really means. If we were to graph this trinomial, it would look something like this. Now this isn't exactly to scale, but hopefully this gives you an idea of what it would look like. So we would have it crossing at the x-axis at two points, and those would be negative three and negative four here. So we inherently have two points on our trinomial graph that would be negative three, zero, and negative four, zero. Okay, so it's crossing our x-axis at these two points. That's why we call these our x's or sometimes our zeros. Now let's take a look at some practice problems. What are the two solutions for x squared minus 2x minus 8 equals 0? So first thing we have to do is factor, right? So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give us negative 8 and that add up to give us negative 2. Okay, so maybe we start with 4 and 2 because that's kind of what looks like it's going on here. So maybe negative 4 times 2, well that would equal 8, um, and negative 4 plus 2 that equals negative two. So we have found our two numbers, which are negative four and two. So we can write our factors as x minus four times x plus two. And our solutions would be x equals four and x equals negative two. Remember, because we can say x minus four equals zero, when we add that over, we get x equals four. So we have to flip our sign here and we get x equals four and negative two. What is one possible value of x if we have 48 plus 8x equals x squared? Well, the first thing we have to do is put this in our normal trinomial format so that we can factor. So we have x squared minus 8x minus 48. So we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give us negative 48 and add up to give us negative eight. This is another reason that you need to know your multiplication tables before taking this test. It can really slow you down if you're struggling here. But even if you're not quite sure off the top of your head what our numbers should be, we can still write down a few options and get there. So let's start by just taking 48 and saying 48 equals, well, we could divide it by two and say 24 times two. Well, we can try that. Is there any way that we could get eight from 24 and two? No. So again, we could say, maybe let's divide it again and say 12 times four. Okay, well, now we are looking a lot more promising. These two numbers multiply to give us 48, and we can find a way to make them equal negative eight. So now we just have to figure out which one or ones are going to be negative here. Um, so we know one of them has to be negative because we're looking for a negative multiple here. Um, so we could do negative 12 times positive four. That will give us negative 48, and that will add up to give us negative eight. So we found our two factors here. So we have x minus 12 times x plus four, and then our answers are going to be x equals 12 and negative four. You may also see word problems on the test that involve trinomials. We have one example that says, Marcus is planning to put down a new flooring in his storage shed. If the length of the shed is five feet longer than the width, and the area of the shed is 66 square feet, what is the width of the shed? Okay, so first thing I always do with problems like this is to draw a quick picture 
and our area is 66, and it tells us that the length is five feet longer than the width. Okay, so I'm gonna start by just saying this is our width, and our length is the width plus five, right? It's five feet longer than our width here. Okay, and we know that our area formula of a rectangle is length times width, so we can write that out and say W times W plus five equals 66. And we can work this out and say W squared plus 5W equals 66. Okay, we're really close, but let's still put it in our normal trinomial format so that we can factor here. Okay, we're looking for two numbers that multiply to give us negative 66 and that add up to give us 5. All right, let's start working through a few options. So maybe 11 times 6, right? That equals 66. That's just an easy uh, multiple that I came up with off the top of my head. So 66 equals 11 times 6, and we can get that to equal 5 if we make our 6 negative, right? 11 times negative 6 equals negative 66, and 11 plus negative 6, or 11 minus 6, equals 5. Okay, so we found our factors, 11 and negative 6, so we have w plus 11 times w minus 6. So our answers are w equals negative 11 and 6. But we can't have a negative width, right? So our only answer that makes sense here is that the width has to be 6. Let's look at one more problem. What is the value of x if f of x equals zero here? So don't let functions throw you off. We are going to cover functions, but in this case, they just tell you that f of x equals zero. So we can just set this equal to zero and say x squared plus two x minus 15 equals zero. Now we have a normal trinomial. We are also dealing with this here, that x has to be between negative two and negative six, but let's just leave that alone for now and go about our factoring and then come back to it at the end. So we are looking for two numbers that multiply to give us negative 15 and add up to give us two. Well, let's start with five times three. That equals 15. Now we just need to figure out which one is going to be negative. Well, we want our three to be negative, right? Because five minus three equals two. So our answers are going to be five and negative three. So those are our factors. So we have x plus five times x minus three so our answers will be x equals negative five and three. All right, now we go back to this here and we have to figure out which one of these works. And the only one that works is negative five. So that's gonna be our only answer here. Watch out for things like this on the test. They may sneak in details like this to throw you off. So make sure you're always reading all of the information that they're giving you, referring back to it before you pick your answer so that you don't get lost points here just because you've missed one simple detail. Now you're ready to take a look at the practice questions. 